Yo, what's up? You know what it is. The one and the only, the triple, the G-O-D. I do love you guys back to another installment of Triple the Guest Speaks on and Monat. Is that how you pronounce her name? I don't know. I don't pay attention to this video game. I just dichotomize what is put in front of me because I have nothing better to do. Well, I take that back. I have plenty of things I could be doing, but since this has been a thing for season two and it's kind of what it is that I do, that's why we're doing it. I'm trying to sit up here and legitimately wonder why that required an explanation for something. Because if you're watching this, you already know this information. Well, most people would. Some people would. What am I? Look. We got this Monat trailer. Like I said, I don't keep up with Street Fighter Five all that much. So, to A, be going from one common Rider thing to another common Rider thing in between. To see this trailer there and it's been up for this like, And I didn't even know. It was like, you should probably do your homework more. But. We're going to watch this trailer. We're going to see what it is we're going to see. And we're going to do what it is going to do. So, if you guys are ready, let us watch the trailer. Rated T for T. Okay. Stuff and things. All right. Mm-hmm. Balls or whatever. Is that going to turn to V? And damn, she like, you know. Is that what? Is that like yo-yos or something? Yep, she. You just hit her with a backplate. Okay, I, okay, she can reflect fireball. So what? She new rolls or something? Yep, yep, new rolls. And she's sitting up her doing all this tricky stuff. She all bendy and stuff. I'm like, I don't like it. Um, drills. Okay. Um, fine. We got what? What? It, what is that? Oh, that must be her, like her V. What? That must be like her V trigger or something. Cause. Wow! Okay, this girl is nuts. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm -mm -mm. Dance on him, girl. Dance on him. Oh. Oh, is it time, baby? Yep! Critica Arto! Oh, she... Ooh. <laughs> okay. I like that. I'm, okay. I like that. Like... Oh, oh, she got, okay, all oh, the 30th anniversary costumes, I was already aware of those. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay. You get it, Tucker, man? Oh, oh, August the 29th, that's what, Tuesday? Because today the 27th, right? Because I don't know what day it is. Yep, so that's Tuesday. So, um, new, so all that old stuff coming out at the same time and stuff. Um, let's see. Other than she's bendy, has a drill kick, and can use a whole bunch of balls. I'm like, weirdly enough, on accident, the first character I wanted to reference, even though it's probably not the best and may possibly be an incorrect reference, is Cheryl from the Rumblefish. But maybe I just want to say Cheryl from the Rumblefish. But it's not exactly that, because let's see. She can throw a ball out there. She can bring you back with it. Let me see. Car I'm like, you can't really say Bridget because her yo-yo doesn't work like that. Okay. Hmm, let's think about this. A character who throws balls and they can use them as a projectile to bring them back. Hmm. Let me see. Wait a minute. Let me think. I got I, I got I got I got a billion years of fighting game knowledge in my head. I'll think of somebody. You gotta give me a moment here. <laughs> let's see. I'm trying because I'm seriously like I understand what the character is doing and why they're doing it. I'm with it. I'm just trying to figure out a character to like to like equate to something because that's just what I do because I'm not sitting up here saying that you know that no one at Capcom or them technically has an original creative bone in their body because them created that game I just referenced in the Rumblefish. Because see, when I think about when I say Cheryl, Cheryl is a whole lot different. Because what Cheryl does is that Cheryl can put like little targets on the screen. And then it's like, and the way she sets them in order is when she do her little fireball and set it bounce some things to thing, which is different than like throwing a ball out and then bringing it back. Because let me see, because. Okay, I don't think Rimiru from Samurai Showdown is what I'm looking for. I don't, because I don't know, I don't even know why Rimiru came to my head like that, because Rimiru doesn't even fight like that. She does her ice stuff, but it's not like 
doing that. Like, I'm like, because let me see. Think of a character who places projectiles or things that can be used to ensnare the opponent. Hmm. Wow, I am coming up with a legit blank, and then as soon as I turn off the video, I'm going to like be like, well, that character, duh. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We, we got a little time. I can suss this out. Think. 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 Okay, let me see. Character throws projectile to set it up and then uses it as a projectile to bring the opponent towards them. Hmm. I am drawing a legitimate blank because I can't really think of too many characters who really do that and I really need to like stretch myself like I was finna say Mamiya from Fifth of the North Star that doesn't quite work because that projectile that she does that comes down is set up for a whole different type of game than what that is. I'm trying to think, cause let me see, cause um I was finna go fade unlimited codes, but I don't think caster works because caster is what I was thinking of, cause caster can set things up like that, but those are more for like putting fireballs on the screen or whatever and making it impossible for you know for your opponent to block. Um Let me see. Melty blood? Um, no. Nah, not melty blood. Because I don't think a character in that game... It's like... Female Terry Bogart can, like, set fireball, but those are more for explosions than doing that. You know what I'm saying? So, it's not that. No, not that at all. Hmm. Let me see. I am legit. I've been here for a minute and a half, and I'm like legitimately straight drawing a blank right now. Like, I, I know that I'm not like I said earlier. I'm not sitting up here saying like Monad is not an original character design, but it has to be something I can equate this to. It has to be, and I, 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 I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to call a ghost on this one because I can't think of a character like that. Who throws things on the screen. Who can then set them. And then bring you back. Like. Maybe I'm thinking about it. In too, in too minute of a sense. And I probably need to be thinking a little broader. About things in general. Hmm. Hmm. Throw a fireball. Bring you back in. Throw a fireball. Bring you back in. And then can set up multiple fireballs to do that and bring you back in. Um, when I saw what I originally saw, I thought about um, what's that girl's name? Hold up, wait, I got this out because I because I want to make sure that I'm on because Maya from um from the new Killer Instinct because she can throw those little projectiles or whatever, and they set up like weird little high low games and stuff where she can throw it and then like bring it back to her, and you can be hit that way. But I think Monat is a little more different because the way that I'm thinking about it, because I'm thinking about Maya, the character, like the way she throws that, the way she throws her size or whatever, are way different than what Monat uses it for. But it's pretty close. It's pretty close, and you know, and you know, in the metaphorical comparison. But I don't think that's quite it. And again, like I said, I am trying to think of a character who does that, and I can't. Like. I don't even know why. You know, Mignon Barrett just comes up in my head because she's True Bay. But Mignon Barrett just has fireballs and she can place them, but she doesn't have a fireball we should bring back, and neither does her sister. I can't think of anyone in KOF who works like that. Um, wow. Because uh, cause I'm drawing a blank, like, legitimately, for real. Like, I'm thinking about all the fighting games I've ever played, for real, and trying to think of a character. Who can do that? Like, who can sit up her and set a fireball and then bring it back to them and then bring you towards them? Like, you can think about it like, like gravitation, like a uh, Magneto and Storm. Like, Storm has the fire and fire wind and Magneto has gravitation, but it doesn't involve a fireball first, though. 
wow, I have been sitting there for like three minutes trying to suss this out and just cannot. Like, I'm sitting up here thinking of like fighting games like I'm like I I I was delving in like to um into psychic force, but characters in psychic force don't work like that. Like characters have fireballs and stuff like that, but do you have characters who can set fireballs and then they explode later and things like that? But that's not what we're dealing with here. Hmm. Let me see, hold up. Cause I'm gonna give this one more minute because let me see. A character that can throw fireballs like, I was thinking about, like, Arcana Heart and then Extension Damon Bride, but characters don't do that. And I can't think of an Arcana that would grant a maiden that type of ability. Wow. It's got to be somebody. Because you can think about what characters who use yo-yos, right? You got Ness, you got Yoko from Urga, as in... Bridget, we talked about her, but her yo-yo is different because of what it does. Because yo -Yo Yoko can ensnare you, but she doesn't set something first and then bring you. Even though she can jump in the air and throw like smoke grenades, so I'm going. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to concede. I've been here for a couple of minutes trying to legitimately suss this out. A character in a fighting game who throws a fireball can set it and then use it to bring them to you as an attack. Gotta be somebody, but I'm coming to blank. And you think I wouldn't. You think I would not come up blank like that, but I can't think of anybody. But I bet you it's a character that precedes me not that does that, and it's just that I'm not thinking of the game, or I may not be as familiar with that fighting game and it's called and it's cast of characters who do that. Because like I'm sitting up for now thinking about like, you know, about different like about different fighters, like fighters from like animes and things like that, for characters who may be able to do that in the anime they're from, and then that's translated to a fighting game. But I'm coming up with nothing with this zero. So I'm glad we can sit here for six minutes while I try to suss out who's my not like. Could not find an answer, but name the name dropped a whole bunch of fighting games. Um, Cocto Chojin. I was name dropping fighting games, so. Tech Romancer, see? Naruto Gekito Ninja Tizen 4. We're just name dropping fighting games now. Um, Justice League Task Force. Okay, I'm done. Let's just turn this into a video. How about that? How about we just turn this into a video, and if I think of something before the video becomes official, I have a one more thing for you, but I might have to concede this one. All in all, I like what I saw. I can't wait for the internet people. You know who you are to do the thing that you know you do. But them costumes was off the chain. She's sitting up here doing all this old bendy work. I'm sitting up here like, oh, man. Like, wow. Um, wait a minute. I don't know if I'm thinking about the fireball correctly. Fuka was from Skullgirls. Because... I'm trying to think, cause I'm trying to think, how, cause I know she has a fireball that she can throw, and then she can bring it back to herself. I think that's what it is. If I'm, if I remember Fukuwa correctly, Fukuwa has a fireball, or maybe at some point in the story she did, or she had a fireball where she could bring it back to herself, right? Where she could do it and then bring it back like that. Maybe I'm not sitting up here saying like it's a one for one amalgam of that, but. I just randomly thought of that because I was thinking about Minata and then, you know, Eliza came up in my head. And I'm like, yo, Fukuwa. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. But it seems like it seems like a very great mechanic because, let me see. Because we finna go at this because, let me see. Because I'm trying to, because I, I just had something in my head. I just, oh yeah, because I mentioned Mamiya earlier, right? I mentioned Mamiya earlier because her normal seem very similar to her, especially like her crouching where she uses like her bolos and stuff like that. Where she go big big and do like and do like crouching multiple hits and stuff. So yeah, I'm like We'll come back to this, you know, when you know Cat Community drop what they gonna drop on Monat and we'll come back and we'll read through it and see what it is we can learn about Monat. But I'm glad that we sat up here and I had this conversation with myself that you could listen to and you know that we can suss this out together.
You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm like, I'm going to do a little bit more research on that. And if I don't find nothing now, but if I find something before the the reveal of Manas information on Cat Community, we'll talk about that at the face up front and then go into the stuff like that. So we'll just call we'll just call it a fresh shaking train. Alright, Scram, beat it, get out of here. More work to be done by the one and the only, the triple the G O D. That's me. And I'd like to thank you for joining me for another installment of What's That Show? Oh, it's Triple the Guy Speaks on it. With that being said, I'll holler you guys next time, man. Peace out. <laughs> One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. I knew as soon as I got off the mic, as soon as I got off the mic, I went and went and go made myself something to eat, and then it just came to me. Viola from Soul Calibur 5. But the thing is, in due honesty, I don't have a lot of reverence for that game because I may have played the demo, I think. Maybe. I may have watched some gameplay footage. You could also count I technically played Soul Calibur 5, you know, when when I played Soul Calibur Lost Sword. That's on the channel if you guys want to give that a watch, the final days of that video game. But yeah, I went and just pulled up some Viola stuff real quick. And yo, setting fireballs and doing all that stuff and moving them back and forth. Viola. V-I-O-L-A and not Davis because you really don't want to know how they got away with murder, I don't think. I don't think I don't think you even want to know. I don't think even if even if you wanted to know, I don't think you want to know. I'm just I'm just letting you know what the business is. But yeah, Viola was the answer I was looking for, and I'm glad that you know that even though I didn't have the answer before, I'm glad I came to it sooner or later. But you do what you can. You know what I'm saying? I'm like that's a lot of information. A lot of history to delve and go through. So, you know, you you miss something every now and then. So, it is what it is with that. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a video and all that. Officially, for real, as a compounded version of that video. Because I was waiting on something else to get done. Which you should be seeing right about now. Because I'm actually in the middle of doing that and this at the same time. But, yeah, um, not looks amazing. I need to play some Soul Calibur 5. So, I need to put that on my to-do list. But... Me and the Soul Series, it's going to be a long way before you see some Soul Calibur 5 in the capacity that you think it should be in. Or the capacity that I want to do it in, but there are things that have to be done first. So, I'm going to go wish on a star and pray and hope that we get a hybrid version of Soul Calibur 3 and Soul Calibur 3 Arcade Edition in some Meagle Moggy Mega Mix-Up. Because more people need to play Soul Calibur, uh, Soul Calibur 3 Arcade Edition. Probably one of the best fighting games in the business, real talk. B a wonderfully balanced game. It's like, there's some, still some dirty stuff in it. That game real good. But yeah, Street Fighter V, Monat. She plays like Viola. I didn't, you know, it is what it is with that. Hey, even the best sometimes get stumped. So, let's go ahead and get up out of here. You know what it is. It's the one and the only, the triple the G. Oh, D, and I'd like to thank you for joining me for another installment of Triple the Guy Speaks On. And with that being said, I'll holler at you guys next time, man. Peace out. <laughs>